Rated everyone 10 and up. If I was a Fable hero, I'd be Ben Finn. And I'd be Ben Finn because he's charming, he's charismatic, he has a bit of a way with the ladies, but it always seems to go wrong. <laughs> I would be Paige. She was trying to make things better for everyone. I think I kind of relate to that attitude. That's probably why I am a producer. Fable Heroes is a four-player hack and slash shoot 'em up, beat 'em up kind of co-op XBLA game. Um, it's based on playing as your favourite hero from across the franchise and you can play online or offline with up to four of your favourite friends. From Fable 1 we, we have characters like Scythe, he was from the Lost Chapters expansion. Jack of Bleeds, one of the most popular enemies. We have Ben Finn, he's a lovable rogue. We also have Teresa, who's a very popular character, spanned throughout the franchise, and she's making an appearance in her journey incarnation for Fable Heroes. Fable Heroes came from a Lionhead Creative Day. We have them every year. Uh, I got together with five friends within the office, and we just thought, oh, let's make a four-player hack and slash Fable game uh, that pays tribute to, or homage to games of yesteryear. Lionhead have been incredibly supportive for Fable Heroes. It started out as an idea amongst a small group of developers for the Lionhead Creative Day. Uh, everyone could see the passion and that it had a spark. The inspiration for Fable Heroes was Gauntlet originally, uh, the idea of playing a four-player fun hack and slash game. We just thought if we took the premise of Gauntlet and the universe of Fable, it would work really well when gelled together. When we came to difficulty levels, we wanted to branch out a bit from normal. We have, well, we have a normal mode, which is your general fight through, compete against one another. We have family mode, where everyone gains the same score. Challenging mode means that if all your players die, you fail the level. We also have silly game modes, and you can get big heads, you can have exploding coins to get danger when you're trying to pick them up. We also have no HUD mode, so you can keep it a mystery who's winning. So we've tried to cram as much as we can in. So as you unlock your puppets by playing Fable Heroes, you can then unlock them as well in Fable the Journey. They hang from your cart. You can also transfer gold from Heroes into XP for Fable the Journey, which will give you a gameplay advantage levelling up your character right from launch. I'd like them to do a race uh, because it's always fun to see the competitiveness coming from the test team even after the thousandth time that they've played the minecart race. Actually, yeah, who am I? Man, Reba, you are a lot better at this. Fable Heroes is out on Xbox Live Arcade on the 8th. No. Second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fable Heroes is out on the 2nd of May on the Xbox Live Arcade platform for 800 points.